Hey guys, Technometry here with a video for you guys on top seven settings that you wanna look at to disable or enable to ensure that your phone is most secure on iOS 12 and 13 and above. So these settings sometimes do get turned on whenever you do upgrade and you wanna kinda of go look at these settings to make sure your phone is more secure from any kind of data hacks or data leak or even someone being able to access your phone whenever you know you have it locked so we're going to take a look at those settings the first settings we want to look at is in siri and search so once you're in siri and search what you want to do is actually disable this allow siri when locked so with uh, there's tons of videos and security vulnerabilities around you know enabling security when your phone is locked and by having that on, sometimes people can maneuver Siri or let it know some commands that will unlock your phone. So usually I go ahead and turn that off to be most secure. Next settings that we wanna take a look at is around face ID and passcode. So once you're in here, what you wanna do is take a look at this component that's known as um, the wallet piece of your phone. So what happens is, you know, with this, what this will allow it to do if it's on is that allow access to all of these that you see right here, even when the phone is locked. And the one that usually that I like to go ahead and turn off is actually this wallet one because I don't want someone to be able to utilize my wallet when the iPhone is locked. So, you know, if someone gets hold of me and they can go and really, you know, swipe it to use the Apple account on my ID or, you know, on my device, I'll go ahead and turn that off so that, you know, I actually need to either enter my passcode or use face ID to actually use the wallet. So we'll go ahead and turn that off as well. So that's a good thing to do. Let's go on to the next tip for you guys, which is around privacy. So this is our area of concern because in this feature holds a lot of, you know, settings and, you know, features that enable privacy, you know, settings for your iPhone. What you want to look at is in this area is these three ones that I have. It's a microphone, your Bluetooth, and your camera. First thing is Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is very important because some apps by default will want to ask you to utilize your Bluetooth, which can be very, you know, dangerous because with Bluetooth, they can have, you know, who knows what kind of access they can gain into your phone once they are able to get connected with the Bluetooth. So review any application that look suspicious that are on. So as you can see, Facebook and Wawa here wanted Bluetooth, but I have toggled those all off. But sometimes app, when you download it, you accidentally click allow and you don't know how to turn it back on. You want to go back here and look at all the options for Bluetooth. Next one you wanna look at is around microphone. So the microphone one is a really important one because you know it gives any apps on your phone to be able to listen listen and utilize your microphone which you don't want to do because you know if you have you know confidential stuff or you're you know talking about things that, that you know apps shouldn't know you know who knows that app might be programmed to be listening in so you're going to review the application and turn it off for example here i may not need yelp to have microphone access i'll go and turn that off because you know there is no need for that to have my microphone maybe you know my messenger might not need that, so I'll go ahead and turn that off. You know, even Google Maps might not need it. Some apps will need it, for example, like Instagram, um, Zoom, because these apps rely on the mic as well. So you wanna go ahead and review those lists and turn the ones that you gave access to. So that's important as well. Next thing you wanna look at is camera. Same thing, you know, the camera can be turned on or used by any of this application that you might have accidentally gave access to, might not really need the camera for some reason they're on. So we'll go ahead and review all those applications, same thing. Turn the ones that look suspicious to you or don't really feel like there's a need for it. For example, I don't might not need, you know, camera for my messenger my messengers i'll have that turned off i may not need you know the camera access for like yelp so i'll go ahead and turn that off because you know i'm not doing any reviews you may need that so you want to turn that on you know some of these other ones you know go look at it for example planet fitness might not need camera access for me i'll go ahead and turn it off so 
So go ahead and review that. And you know, if they need camera, they'll ask you next time you're, you're using a feature on these applications. If they need access, they'll say, hey, go turn camera on. Then you can go turn it on again. So that's something else to look for your privacy as well. Let's move on to the next tip for you guys, which is around this files and folders. So this is an area where, you know, apps can access your files and folders on your phone or even in your iOS devices if you give them access. For example, here right now I have Safari, which has access. So if they are looking for any, you know, any website that I go to that are looking to you know, download into my files or, you know, upload files. Safari will have that ability. There sometimes might be, you know, apps that you might not need them to have access to your files and folders. You want to go ahead and turn that off. You can even turn off Safari here. The next time it requires it, it will just ask you that you turn it on, which is fine as well. So those are around the privacy that you want to look at as, so as kind of key areas that, you know, that really need for your um, your services that require you know your you know access to some of the feature. Next thing you want to look around is location services. Around this space, what I usually like to do is kind of look at all the applications that have location services turned on, and I'm gonna go and review it and see does it really need you know the location services because that's a major you know service that you know your phone provides and by them knowing your location they can essentially figure out where you are and you might not need that application to know where you're using it from so go ahead and take a look at that for example you know I might not need Dunkin Donut to know where I am so I'm gonna turn off to never I'm gonna look at other you know apps that are requesting that kind of information for example I don't use the health one so I might go ahead and turn that one off you know McDonald's, I don't know why this is always on, so I'm going to turn that off as well. You know, I'm going to review some of these and kind of figure out, you know, why do they need a Pinterest, you know, might not need my, you know, location services, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So you're going to go ahead and review all of this. Of course, as you can see, there's a bunch of them that are requesting location services that you know, I haven't turned off because I want to show you guys that location services, for some reason, whenever you download application, apps right away request that for some of the services. Some might actually need it, but a ton of them don't really need to know where your location is whenever you know you, you guys are using them. So review that and turn the ones that you'll need to off. And then the last tip that I want to show you for you guys is this around notes. So note is a really important, um, you know, thing on your phone that, you know, sometimes we jot down really top secret information or information that we don't want someone to look at. Even if they have our phone, we pass their phone to show them something and they're snooping around if you're looking at it. Or even if someone gets a hold of your phone and can unlock it, this will provide an extra layer of security. So here, as you can see, I have, you know, I created a note here that says like, top secret stuff, you know, or if you had personal information, you would put it here in a note, right, To for you to kind of only view. And then what you want to do is simply, you know, use the slider, and then you'll notice there's a log button here. You want to click on the log button, and that will allow you to set a password on that note so that no one else but yourself can only see it based on the password that you put in. So here, if I put the word password just for, you know, testing here, going to show you guys, you know, I won't be able to utilize this. So here it's saying it's not strong because I use passwords. I'm going to use something else, you know. Let's see if this works. So once I do that, it is locked. So the next time, you know, I want to look at this actually, if I go back here right now and go back to, so let's go ahead and actually lock this. So it is locked now, as you can see. And next time I'm going to view it, it will ask for my face ID or I can enter the password. So here I'll enter the password I set. Hit OK, and once I do that, I will be able to see that. So those are the top 
seven tips that I want to share with you guys around security on your iPhone that you want to go ahead and take a look at to make sure your phone is secure from any kind of access and also, you know, allowing, you know, data leaks or anyone taking your information without your knowledge. So take a look at those. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. It will do some awesome, you know, tips and tips for you guys around iPhone in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.